वेलकम बैक टू ओप सीरीज फॉर पी एच पी एंड इन दिस एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द एक्सेस मॉडिफायर इन द पी एच पी ऊप सिस्टम सो आई विल जस्ट क्रिएट अ न्यू फाइल कॉल्ड यूजर डॉट पी एच पी एंड ऑब्वियसली द पी एच पी टैग दैन क्लास एंड द यूजर एंड हेयर आई विल फर्स्टली डिफाइन अ पब्लिक वेरिएबल कॉल्ड नेम and let's define this hard code this as sarthak and now i will create a new instance of this user so i will say new user and user arrow name and let's see what we are getting so let's go to chrome and instead of this bill i will go to user.php and i have not echo it out i think yeah so let's just echo user name and yeah we are getting this but let's suppose this name is good but i have one more property let's say password and obviously password we don't want to show to anyone so what i can do i can use it as a private keyword so now if i want to access the user password let's go and reload you can see we have new error which says cannot access private property so that means we can use this password inside our class but not outside the class so if i really want to access this password what i can do i can create a new function obviously that should also be public function get pass okay and this function will just return dollar this arrow password and now instead of directly accessing this i can access this via this function called get pass so it's like a getter function so now if i go reload yeah now i can access this but it is totally depending upon how i can create my functions inside class so in that case no one can directly access this password field if it is assigned as private and next is like suppose you have another field called email and obviously email can be accessible with other person but obviously this is also not going to be as a public so what i will do i will use it as a protected okay and to demonstrate how protected thing work i have to create a new class and let's say class name is uh let's say i'm using admin okay and this class will have a function of construct so construct and this construct will just echo dollar this arrow email but where this email came from so to get this email of this class we have to extend this so i have to extend so extends user so what i have done uh, this is actually the inheritance system i will cover this in the later episode but to demonstrate the protected system just consider it that it is a some kind of thing which will get everything of the class we are going to extending so this class we are extending and we can get email so now because i am using construct and construct will echo out so i don't have to do anything i will just create a new instance of this admin class and let's say admin and i don't have to do echo because i am using echo on the construct so let's go to chrome refresh you can see we have the email here but if i use it as a private so private and go then you can see it says undefined property that means this property is not passed to admin class so obviously this protected is available to the class which is going to extend but again if you going to use like this is equal to new user and user arrow email you are going to echo this out 
you will get error so I will just comment this so let's go refresh and you can see it says cannot access property protected so this means public can be accessible anywhere protected cannot be accessed by the objects but can be accessed by the extending classes okay or the child classes but private is a private thing that means it cannot be accessed by any other system other than this class okay so this is called the access modifiers so we will meet in the next episode with some new cool features of the OOP system and if you have any doubt feel free to message me if you have learned something from bitfumes you want to donate just donate on the patreon.com and if you don't want to do all these things just do one thing called subscribe to my channel and like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye